Okay, so let's talk about printables. Now, the title of this, and for day two, the title of this video is Solving a Problem with a Printable. Now, you see, when I had done the class before, I took people through the journey, students through the journey of developing an avatar. And there was a lot of questions and um, good feedback about what an avatar was, how do we implement, you know, what a quote unquote avatar is. And really, I just want to define it really quick that an avatar is an ideal customer. Now, let's go back to what the original uh, title of this video is in training is solving a problem with a printable. So our, our ideal person, our avatar has a problem. We just don't always recognize it. What I like to teach and tell people is if you ever have an opportunity to have somebody ask you how you do something, the keywords of how should send in a trigger or send you into a trigger mindset of, well, how do I solve that problem this person's having or my avatar with a printable? Because like I've said, and you're going to hear me say it a, a lot throughout our, our journey here in the next five days, is that printables solve problems. I mean, let's just think about it in terms of like habit trackers. The problem is, and I'm just going to use me as an example, uh, the problem that I have is I need to adjust my my physical weight, right? So if if that's the case, how do I adjust my physical weight? And, you know, I can exercise, which would give me an opportunity to have a, a printable to track my daily activities for ex exercising. I could have a meal plan, which would help me, um, you know, reduce my uh, calorie intake, correct? And so then uh, another one of the things would be um, how much water I drink. So these are three different items that would solve my problem in my weight reduction or losing weight, right? So if I was to be your avatar, you could look at it from the standpoint that um, a exercising uh, calendar would work to solve my problem in a printable a meal plan or a meal planner or a meal printable meal planner worksheet, you know, maybe a calendar of, you know, I eat this for breakfast, this for lunch, and this for dinner would work, you know, that would solve my problem, as well as like just in a, a water intake calendar. And so that really leads into a lot of different opportunities to do different designs. Um, and designs, I want to make sure that that people know that it doesn't have to be like Mozart symphony type music, you know, just artistic Van Gogh type things, you know, like gallery um, worthy. It could be as simple as check boxes, text, and lines. If you have a way to systematically think in terms of like, okay, I need, I have a problem. I need to have, uh, I need to drink more water throughout the day. Then you can have something as simple as the top water tracker okay and then you know you just list out you know different boxes you know i drank this much today i drank that much today and really we see these all around you know these type of um these type of solutions to other people's problems or our avatars problems and we just don't even really recognize it maybe so that's just one of the things that that i want to share with you on it so let me just go ahead and just uh share you know this this graphic really quick, just to kind of hone in on that idea that printables solve problems. As you can see in the, you know, this, this graphic where there's a light bulb moment and we go through this maze and then we have a solution. So I really think that that um, shares and shows like what a printables can do. The idea is, is just finding the, um, finding a way to identify that there's a problem and then um, providing a solution. So one of the things I'm going to transition over to in my printable discovery process, I have five steps that I, I work through and I like to kind of skip ahead sometimes, but this is a good little framework for you to think about things as you go on through your printable discovery. So I'm just go ahead and share my screen. And really, 
you know, in the printable discovery, going back to the avatar, that's your ideal customer. That's the person that may be asking you for a solution on how you do something, right? And so really an avatar is a, a place in a person, uh, placing a person in your mind, or maybe you already have somebody that uh, always refer back to on why you are making this specific printable. So again, I just want to make it really simple that um, we're just looking to add solutions to people's problems with a printable. Now, I gave some uh, information yesterday on day one about keyword prompt and using and leveraging the word, and I'm going to use quotes, how. Listen to those how questions because our avatar or our person that has a problem, they're asking for a solution, right? So, you know, as I said underneath here, the keyword prompt, listen to the how questions. Your avatar is suggesting that you, suggesting to you what they need. They need a solution. So, and then you're going to evaluate how you can help them by creating a printable, by offering a solution in a printable form. Now, number three, you're just going to take and, you know, come up with some uh, keywords, you know, like different solutions. Like I gave the example of in the, um, you know, weight loss tracker, you know, that's a solution. One, I can make a meal planner or meal, meal printable, meal planning printable. I can make a, a calendar for exercise as well as like even a water intake. I mean, and then you can even like combine all those and make one printable of all three of them. Okay. Or you can just do those individually. So there's a lot of opportunities there. Now let's go back over to, to this graphic that I was sharing here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to identify the printable type. Now, again, this is going to be based on what our avatar needs off of our key list or keyword list. You know, it could be a, a educational printable. It could be, you know, leisure entertainment printable or informational printable or even an organizational printable. And then we're going to take that key list or keyword list, you know, that we identify. And then we're just going to do some research. Uh, we're going to, you know, check some reviews, results, and create. Now, I like to share with people or share with students, rather, is that we, we have people around us that have problems, right? And we know that we can solve them with printables because we're always being asked how to do something. So I don't really necessarily like to get caught up in the e-commerce um, selling portion of it uh, because it really could be frustrating at times. And, and this is me speaking to you heartfully. It could be frustrating at times in creating a solution to a problem. So what I really like to do and focus and I, I tell people and, and teach people is work on just what you have around you as far as people. And, and listening to creating printables to solve their problems. Because I guarantee you that if somebody has a problem that needs a solution in the form of a printable, there's probably other people out there as well. I think at times what we do is we get focused in on just making the money and we have to you know do this sort of thing that we forget that some of the people around us, they can also, that not only can they also be our biggest supporters, but they can also be our biggest uh, contributors to not only more ideas, but maybe even buy us a cup of coffee or take us out to dinner for something that may have made an impact on their life or solved their problem. So I hope that uh, helps out, kind of guide you through some ideas of where I am in my mindset. And maybe you can identify with that if you can't and you have more questions or you want a little more refined um thought on that. I'd love to have the discussion with you um, folks about it. So again, recap everything. Printables offer a, a solution to a problem. So really solving a problem with a printable is all we're really doing. So I'll talk to you really soon and hope you have a great rest of your day.